I noted that he seemed more alive than when I'd last seen him in London five years earlier. His body now appeared more charged and alert, as though, casualties aside, he really rather preferred life in a war zone. I asked whether it didn't occasionally feel hypocritical to be censorious of a war while at the same time drawn to its energies. Still chewing, Alistair nodded and said, yes, it's true. There's something thrilling, addictive even, about the idea that you're living every moment only half a step ahead of death. But if it weren't for those willing to do it, those willing to risk their lives to witness and record what's happening, how would the rest of us know what our governments are doing in our names? <laughs> 